counter experiment. So this comes under a sequential circuit because every output of the component are given as an input to the next one. So this counter experiment comes under sequential circuits. So here we are going to use the component like a 4 JK5 flip flop, 2 AND gate, 1 frequency generator and 1 high state input BCD to 7 segment and 7 segment output. So here we are going to count the number of values right from 0 up to the value 15. So we are going to have the output like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and instead of 10 we are going to have like a hexadecimal like A, B, C, D, E as well as F we are going to have. Okay. And um, so here the connections are like we are going we are having the inputs like a J as well as a K. So all the J and K are short circuited and all the JK inputs are given from the high states and the frequency generator are going to act as a clock for all the JK flip flop. So first we are going to short circuit all our JK inputs. So first I am going to connect the JK as a short circuit. So all the inputs of JK are being short circuited. And I am going to connect the high state input. I am going to connect the high state input as a common to all to all the flip flops. Okay. So first thing is that. So now we have connected high state input for the first flip flop alone now. Okay. And now I am going to connect. Okay, so and now I'm going to connect the clock to the frequency generator. So all the clocks are being interconnected. So every clock are being connected in series. And now I'm going to connect this to the frequency generator. Yes. So hope I've connected all the uh, clock with the frequency generator now. Okay. So now the logic is that every output of the JK flip flop are going to be connected as an input to the second upcoming devices. So for example, now the output of the first JK flip flop are connected as an input as an input to the JK flip flop. Okay, so this output are being given as an input to the JK flip flop now. Right, right. Similarly, the second output of the flip flop are given as an input but we are going to do the counting operations so the counting is depending upon the previous value for example the first value is added with the second one and second value is the added with the first for example first value is common okay when i add the second flip flop it's depending upon the first one then if i'm going to add the third flip flop it is depending upon the second flip flop and the first flip flop if i'm going to add your fourth flip flop then it is depending upon your previous flip flops so likewise we are going to make a connections now. So now first I have connected the output of the first flip flop to the second flip flop which means that the first flip flop output is as such and second flip flop uh, output is depending upon the first flip flop and the second flip flop. Okay right and uh, meanwhile we are also going to connect the output of the JK flip flop to the BCD. So I am going to connect the first um, JK flip flop output to the BCD of Q1. Similarly, the second output of your JK flip is connected to the BCD of B. Okay. Now, right. Now we are going to now we have connected the first one and the second one now. So first one output is given as input to the second one now. Okay. 
and now we are going to see the third one now so third one is depending upon the first one and the second one so we cannot take a two wire from the first one and second one so what we're going to do is that we are going to take the output of the first one and second one and that is connected to the AND gates I'll repeat the I'm going to connect the third flip-flop now so for the third flip-flop we have to take the input outputs from the second flip-flop and the first flip-flop so instead of going for two wire I'm going to take the output of the first flip-flop and second flip-flop output and that is connected to the input of AND gate and this uh, output of AND gate has given us input to the JK flip-flop so first I'm going to take the output of um, this JK flip-flop first JK flip-flop output I'm going to take okay so first I'm going to take the first output and that is connected to the AND gates so we can adjust the wire connection accordingly not to avoid the confusions okay now the output of the second flip-flop is also connected to the second one Right, and now this AND gate output is given as an input to the JK flip-flop of the third one right and the third one output are given to the BCD of C input so we have connected the first one to the A the first JK flip-flop to the B A B C D input and second flip-flop output to the B and third flip flop output to the C and the fourth one so fourth one is the addition of second third one second one as well as the first one now so what I can do now so I can take so I can take now the third one third one output and already I have taken the second one and the first one to the AND gates so I will take the output of the previous AND gate as an input to the one of the input of the second AND gate and the output of the third flip flop okay so first I'm going to take the output of the first and second one as given as an input to the AND gate now hope this is understand so I've taken the second and the first flip flop output as one of the input to the AND gate now now I'm going to take the third uh, flip flop output as an input to the AND gate now now this AND gate is depending upon the first output, second output as well as the third output and that is given us an input to the JK flip-flop. Alright. Okay. So now fourth JK flip-flop output are given as an input to the D input now. Okay. So hope now we have connected all the connections now. Now we have to connect the output of BCD to seven segment display. So A to A, B to B, C to C, D to D, E to E, F to F, and G to G. Now you can see the output. It is keep on getting added. You'll see the output B, C, D, E as well as F. Again, it'll go back to the 0, 1, 2, 3 up to these things. So this count can be increased depending upon your frequency generator now. Now I have taken here the inputs as a 1 hertz. Likewise, we have like a various uh, frequency like a 0.5 hertz, a 0.25 hertz or 1 kilohertz. Based upon that, we are going to have your rate of fast of transmission of your data now. So if I take uh, some other frequencies, let me see uh, that uh, I have taken now 1 hertz. If I take uh, like uh, 0.5 hertz, so I will replace this now. Okay, now I am going to add a 0.5 hertz. So now I'm adding 
the component and this is uh, connected as a common clock uh, to all so I'm going to take a wire from the clock generator to the one of the input of the clock now see the output that is very delay so if I'm going to have higher frequency value there will be a faster transmission of the data if I'm going to have slower frequencies then I'll be having a slower transmission of the numbers thank you